It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills, and it's coming up next. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway in Buffalo. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to 3 P. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now Mahomes had his hands on it but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Well, partner, the hit sure looks like a simple route, but I think the issue with it is a lot of time when you're making that play, you're actually working your way back inside towards traffic where the big guys are coming from inside out, whether it's defensive ends or linebackers. And a lot of the time, instead of securing the pass, your eyes might stray towards the middle and wonder where the big hit's going to come from. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. On fourth down, Matt Arises sent on to punt. 
And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark. Could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 41, here's second and five. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Motion man is Shakir. Now they run the sweep as Allen just pops this forward. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. And they'll accept that penalty. Here now a third down and eight. Now Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And that was Dorian Williams who found his way through and planted him for a loss on the play. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll get this into the hands of the rookie from Texas. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that one going to come up short. No throw. That one came up just a little bit short. I'm wondering, is he still a little bit tight as this game starts? What, what would you say? Maybe he's got to take the governor off of it? Or maybe the donut off the baseball bat like oh, the guys I like in the that. circle? I like that. Yeah, just take that little extra weight off of him and start to play freely. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's caught right side by Worthy. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. First catch of the game for Hopkins. It's a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Mahomes going to throw. And this pass caught by Gray. It'll be a gain of five. And that will bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. And again, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now here's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. And Xavier Worthy, 33 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how the defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Motion man is Shakir. Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four.
Here's Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. And again, it's Allen. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Swings this out for Hunt. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They have their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Mahomes to throw once more. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Mahomes now to throw. He'll get this complete to Worthy. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Second down and six now. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now it's Mahomes again. That's into the hands of Worthy once again. 
And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. Now Mahomes. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. <laughs> Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. To throw, it's Allen. And this will be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Here's Allen to throw it. All his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And they're going to get him. 
He's sacked back around the 28. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Here's Mahomes to throw. That is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So the offense, a little antsy, the flag comes out, and a five-yard penalty. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. And they'll try again here, first and goal after the false start. Now they empty the backfield and motion the running back right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a five-yard touchdown run. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Nothing like understanding where your escape patches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Extra point attempt here still to come. He's got it, and it's 17-0. That time, a six-play drive. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. 
I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Throwing now is Allen. They shakes him off. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Partner, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. And that is incomplete. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that one not being picked off? Second and 10. Now Allen. And this is gonna be dropped. Oh my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 19. A big play here for Buffalo. And even 40 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Motion man is Shakir. Now Allen. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Allen now looks to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Allen. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. The kick by Bass is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. So that stems the tide just a little, but this still a two touchdown game. And I think that maybe that was a bit of a calming drive for this offense, and that's exactly what they needed. They were able to move the ball. They did some good things. It's still the second quarter. Plenty of time to go. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Here's 
The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. From the 31, here's second down and three. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete, left side to Worthy. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. And even 40 yards for Kareem Hunt. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So this has been a team possessed in this first half. They punch in another touchdown on another excellent run. And one of their goals that they emphasized coming into this game was winning the line of scrimmage. And I'd say it's fair to say they've done exactly that. And they've done it in the passing game as well because they protected the quarterback. But that time, great run blocking to spring their man for a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off as he did so with a touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Allen going to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. 
was not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Bills on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Here's Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half, and now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and ten as they take over. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That was Terrell Bernard navigating his way to the backfield and dropping him for a loss. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. Room here to run. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 87 yards on the ground now for Hunt. It'll be a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game. And for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level. Because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. But oftentimes, you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Now here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Matt Ariza now on to punt this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Two 
to the air. Allen. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt. Give him just one yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play caller, how they sequence things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. Second and five. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Mahomes now to throw. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Got a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. 59 yards and the Chiefs are able to add on to their first half lead I know this defense knew it coming into the game Charles and they know it even more now DeAndre Hopkins is a tough cover and anytime you see him out there and there's less than double or triple teaming him take a shot with him just what you're talking about if he's such a tough cover one guy's not going to get it done throw the ball out there let him go get it A try here for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down and you're almost in field goal position. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Back to throw, Allen to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one.
Second and a couple. Up the middle, it's caught. And he gets it down to the 32. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw, Allen. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. On play action, Allen. He's able to get it to Coleman. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 25 yards that time. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir as the first half is winding down and the Bills are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Oh, some strong running, and he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Bills offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more, and it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today.
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. When we talk all the time about playing situational football right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Here's Allen to throw it. Coleman has it here right side. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, it's Allen. And this is Cook with a grab. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. From the gun, it's Allen. find a lot of empty space there picking up the first down at a 21 yard gain he's been patient this entire game waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper there he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down gotta love that efficiency So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen doing it himself from nine yards out. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Bass on for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 the visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession 
And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Now Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man over the middle. Worthy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That catch puts him right at 100 yards receiving now, and it also gives him a first down. On the counter, Hunt. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 105 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Eluding the pressure right. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to stretch out their lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way.
Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Here now, second and four. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. I think we could easily read his mind there. There was just no place to go. Tried to bounce it and get outside on the draw. Yeah, but the defense wasn't thinking pass. They knew that they were running it. And I love the way that they covered all the gaps. You know, we can do all the lettering and the numbering and all those things, but those run fits that we talk about all the time, each person fitting in the proper spot on defense, you see the end result when they do that. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Michael Dana drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Here's Sam Martin now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. The tight end in motion right. To throw, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. 
Throwing now is Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they get five there on third and two. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. A.J. Epinesa, the one credited for the sack. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt, and he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They need 12 here. It's third down. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll give to Cook on the read option. The beautiful fake. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Coleman, the man in motion right. Allen going to throw. It's caught by Coleman. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Allen from the gun on third down. That is caught. And he is going to have a Bills first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. 
And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he's into the hands of Coleman downfield. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Throwing now is Allen. Now he's got it. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Cook diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. In motion, the tight end. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Worthy. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four.
from midfield. Here's Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Mahomes now to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Now here's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stopped him short. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. He's got his man. He finds Worthy. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Handoff up the middle. Hunt. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down, fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. 
And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They go play fake. Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for it. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, listen, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And now their defense came through with the goal line. Stan got them the ball back. Let's see what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. A goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sidelines. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position. Let them catch their breath. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards. Do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and in inches. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. He's able to get it to Coleman. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, and he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Now Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Here we go. First and goal. Throwing Allen. Throw left side to Kincaid. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Dalton Kincaid, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. They do tack on the extra point as well. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Yeah. 
So a seven-point game. They'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts. But even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. take a knee ball at the 24 and a second and 11 Now a handoff. Hunt's going to run left. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. more minutes and maybe the outcome of this with Charles would have been different but ultimately time runs out on the comeback so it falls short and they hold on to win this by just one possession not the fourth quarter they wanted but they did earn the win and they'll be happy about that and they should be now they're gonna go back to practice see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was